Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid Al Bishi and I am Respiratory Service. Today we'll show you how to set up the Baby Look 8000 Plus ventilator for a neonatal. So we already have our machine and we already also bring our ventilator set. So first, you will connect your oxygen line and after this one you will connect also your medical air line then you will go to your ventilator you will plug in the electricity for your baby log and also for your humidifier after this one you will found in the back as you see in the picture the cable for the flow so you will make sure that you connect also your cable for the flow sensor so now, after we connect the, the oxygen line and the medical air, the electricity for the ventilator and for the humidifier also, and our flow sensor cable, now we will show you how to set up and how to connect the ventilator circuit for the Baby Log 8000. We already have our ventilator circuit in front of me right now. So first, I will connect and I will insert my humidifier chamber as we see right now after this one I will start now connecting the circuit I will take the inspiratory limb the short one and I will connect it in the adapter that coming from the machine going to the humidifier as, the, as you see it right now in the picture then to the humidifier after this one, I will take the other limb for the inspiratory, inspiratory limb, the long one, and I will connect it also in the other side of the humidifier, as we see right now. Then I will take my expiratory limb, this one, the white one, and I will connect it in the other adapter going to the machine. So the the blue one, the inspiratory limb coming from the machine, going to the humidifier, then going to the patient. The expiratory limb, it's coming from the patient and it's going to the machine. So after we connect the three things, we will connect the last thing here, our adapter for the, uh, for the ATT, as we see it right now. So now, after we connecting our circuit, we will start connecting our cables for our humidifier. So we have two cables, the yellow one for the heated, and I will connect it on the side of the humidifier, as we see in the picture. Then I will take the other one, the blue one, also I will connect the blue one in the inspiratory limb. So now, after I connect my ventilator circuit properly, I have and I should connect also my flow sensor. We have two types. The first one is the ISO, as you see it right now in the picture. The other one is the Y flow sensor. So first, I will start connecting my ISO flow sensor, this one. Here and this one. This is the Y piece. This is the ISO. This is my flow sensor cable. I will connect it in the place. It will be like this here. Okay. So now I connect my ventilator circuit and I connect the ISO flow sensor with the cable. I'm ready now to set my setting. But let's say you don't have the ISO flow sensor. You have the other type, which is the Y flow sensor. So what you will do is like this. You have to remove this adapter, okay? Then we will take two adapter, two small adapter from the ventilator circuit itself. One in the inspiratory limb, the other one in the expiratory limb. So we have one here and one in expiratory limb and we have also our flow sensor cable. We will take 
the Y piece flow sensor, one in the inspiratory, the other one in expiratory, so inspiratory and expiratory. Then we'll take our flow sensor cable and we'll connect it like the ISO from the below here in the sensor itself. So now we connect already the Y flow sensor adapter. And now we are ready really to set our, our setting on the ventilator. And now we'll show you how to start the ventilator switch on and off and how to set our setting in our mode. We're talking about the basic thing, we'll not go that advanced. So first, the switch on and off is from the back of the ventilator as you see right now in the picture. It will take less than 30 seconds for self-test here. We'll press just OK, OK, so we can remove all the alarms in the beginning. So first, we'll explain the interface or the screen here you saw it. Here we have our main screen, so you can see your measurement, your setting and everything in this small screen. In the lower part here, you will find your control, your percentage of oxygen, the FiO2, your inspiratory time, your expiratory time. Then, if you go down, you will find your beep and CBAP. And here in the left, in the middle down, B inspiratory. And in the left corner, we have our inspiratory flow. So, this is for the control. On the right side, also, you will find two here controls, which is the first one, Fint mode, and the other one is Fint option. If you press, you can see the mode here in the screen. If you press Fint option, you will find the other option like volume guarantee. On the up right corner, you will find alarm silent. OK for anything to confirm it. Here, if you want to do bagging for the patient without removing the uh, circuit, you can press from here. One, as you see here also in the scale. One, two, three, four. So I can give a brief also from here. So now we already talk about the screen and everything. Now you want to set your settings. So first, I will just show you something right now. You have to calibrate your flow sensor. How you will do it? You will go to the left corner in Cal configuration. You will press on it. I will try to keep the a little bit near so after you press the cal configuration as you see right now there is a small word it's written sensor you will press on sensor then you will choose the sensor you are using right now either iso or y for this video we are using right now y so we will press on y then we will press back then you will find the first one which is flow sensor or the flow calibration so you will press on it then seal Y piece and press start so I will remove the test line right now I will close on it in the flow sensor I will press start flow sensor calibrated so my, now my flow sensor is ready and I will go to Fint mode I will go to the Fint mode. I will choose the mode I wanted or the order. Now we have a CBAP, we have a CMV, we have SIMV, assist control, and pressure support ventilation. For me today, I will start with SIMV. Then we have the trigger. I will put it back again near so it will be clear for you. We have the trigger or the sensitivity. The sensitivity for the patient or for the unit, you will set it for the machine from 1.0 up to 1.3. So this is your range for the trigger. For me today, I will keep it 1. Then I will press back. I will go to list. Then I will go to set number 1. I will press on it. Then now in the screen, you can see the setting for your ventilator mode. 
or the control you have it as you see it right now here so the first one we have it is the inspiratory flow for the inspiratory flow let's make it easy here let's say we'll keep it from 8 to 10 this is a good range for a baby log 8000 so for me today I keep it 10 liter per minute then you will go down you will find your should keep it from 15 to 25 but you have to make sure that the reflection on the machine or the in, in the expiratory tidal volume is still in the normal range from 4 to 6 mL per kg how you will know you will go to measure number one after you set your pressure control or inspiratory pressure or big inspiratory pressure as we see right now you will go to measure number one you will see your tidal volume which is expiratory tidal volume and you have to keep it from 4 to 6 mL per, per kg so you prevent the paratrauma for your patient so now we'll go back again to set number one we have here our beep the range for our beep is from 4 to 6 centimeter of water then we go down to our trigger our trigger will already say it from 1 to 1.3 and it's depend all these things it's depend on the doctor order then you will go up left on this side on the left side we have inspiratory time our inspiratory time for the new net is approximately from 0 0.25 up to 0 0.45 so for me today I have a preterm and I feel that and I see the 0 0.30 is good for my patient so I keep it 0 0.30 our expiratory time it will reflect for us the frequency set because in baby log 8000 we don't have a separated control for our respiratory rate so if you want to change your rate first you will set your inspiratory time in the acceptable range you will never keep it 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 be careful you are dealing right now with a neonatal so you will keep it from 0 0.25 up to 0 0.45 then you will go to the expiratory time the expiratory time you will change it depend on your rate for me I want the rate from 20 up to 60 but for now for the setting right now I will keep it 40 so I will change my expiratory time and I will focus on the rate as you see right now our rate is changing so for me I will keep the rate or the frequency set for 0 40 if you go down you will find the IE ratio you cannot change it then you have the percentage oxygen I feel 50 is too much for my patient his saturation is 100 so I can decrease the percentage of oxygen as you see right now I will keep it 40 so this is the main screen this is how you set your setting you want to see the measurement your doctor ask you you want to see the expiratory tidal volume so you will go to measure number one you will press on it so now we have our big inspiratory pressure as a monitor we have our main pressure then we have our beep we have our FiO2 our frequency then on the right corner we have our minute ventilation we have also our expiratory tidal volume our leak if we have a leak like if we intubate a patient with a 2.5 uh, ETT size then suddenly we found that the leak is 100 percent the patient he cannot take his tidal volume properly you can see it from here you can see your expiratory tidal volume and also you can see the leak and the spontaneous so set number one for our control if you want to see the measurement you will go to measure number one after you calibration your flow sensor you will find your monitoring is working so now after you set up your setting your doctor ask you to start a volume guarantee with your patient so what you will do you will go to the fent option I will show you through I will show it to you right now on the right corner fent option you will press on it 
then you will go again to the volume guarantee you will press and as you see right now the title the title volume set you can set your title volume you want it for your patient and as we say we'll keep it from four to six mil per kg for me today my patient he need only five or let's say four mil so I will press on if you see right now when I press on in the right corner we will find SIMV plus volume guarantee that's mean it's working right now of course after we calibrate the flow sensor and you should connect always your flow sensor then we'll go back again to list set number one is our setting we'll go to major number one and we will see if our setting our expiratory tidal volume it's met our volume guarantee we want it or not we also want to go up and down because I'm just pressing right now in the test line so now we'll go back we'll just have a fast review about it after you switch on your ventilator you will do a calibration for your flow sensor from the left corner cal configuration you will press flow sensor calibrate you will close your flow sensor you will press start as you see flow sensor calibrated then you will go to the fent mode you will choose the mode you want it like for today I choose SIMV you will choose your trigger and as we say from 1 up to 1.3 is good for your new net then I will go back I will press list I will go to set number one set number one it's my setting so I will set my inspiratory flow from 8 to 10 liter this is good for baby log 8000 then you will go down for from 15 to 25 and you have to make sure to check your expiratory tidal volume to make also sure that your range is from 4 to 6 mil per kg then you will set your beep it's from 4 to 6 centimeter of water the trigger will already say it then your inspiratory time the range for inspiratory time is from 0.25 up to 0.45 your expiratory time it's depend on the frequency so if you want to change the rate there is no separated control if you want to change the rate with the baby log you have to set your eye time in the acceptable range then you will change your expiratory time to reach your rate that you want it after that the IE ratio we cannot change it then the frequency so the FIO2 you will change it also it's depend on the situation you have it if you have a dissat or something like this so now we already have a fast review about how to set the mood how to start the volume guarantee and some basic thing about the volume guarantee and about also the numbers that you will use it thank you so much